Borderlands 3 walks by dog poop, points at it, and laughs at it, and then sets it on fire. <laughs> How's it going guys? My name is Checker and welcome to today's video. So Borderlands 3 reviews are dropping, most of which are actually pretty good. As you can see, we have a 9 out of 10 from IGN and 8 out of 10 from GameSpot. But then if we go over here, you can see we have a 63% by PC Gamer. So naturally, I was pretty surprised by this, clicked on the article, pretty much instantly realized that this is probably just hate bait because negative things, negative reviews always get more clicks than positive ones. And sure enough, top stories here by PC Gamer 63% and then Polygon Borderlands 3 review third times a chore. So guys, just figured I would go here and read through these reviews, give you guys my inputs. I've read only the first little bit of this review here by PC Gamer, so let's just dive right into this one. Once again, 63 out of 100 reviewed on the RTX 20 2080 i9 9900K. I will of course also have these articles linked down below, but Borderlands 3 is the family circus by way of Spencer's Gifts, a game with long earnest quests about how darn good coffee is punctuated by gore and gun violence. I'm not going to read these whole articles by the way, just kind of the highlights. Borderlands 3 walks by dog poop, points at it, and laughs at it, and then sets it on fire. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that's kind of why I love Borderlands. <laughs> it's silly, stupid humor. With all the crap on the news and just other adulting things, sometimes it's nice to laugh at poop, in my opinion. Borderlands 3 stays up until 11.30 p.m. drinking soda and googling crash flash animations, taking detailed notes. Okay? Uh, Alright, that's so oh, okay. It's stuck in the late 2000s when surface level vulgarity was enough to qualify as edgy. Borderlands 3 is seriously obsessed with turds. It's stuck in a time where memes lasted months rather than days. I, I kind of disagree with that. But okay, I mean I'm old, I'm 24, for some reason it seems like memes last longer than days to me. When referential humor was still a novelty and not exhausting. When you could just point at something the slightest bit abnormal or gross and call it a joke. Simpler times, not necessarily better times. Meh. Alright, interesting review so far. Our distance from the era Borderlands 3 invokes makes it feel like a retro shooter rather than alive and present in modern humor and pop culture. Man, I, you gotta love it when journalists use these very complex and, and, and you know wordy sentences to make them sound like they know what they're talking about. And look, here's the thing: I can this guy's like obviously not into Borderlands, you know, and everyone can have their own opinion. I'm not saying you have to like Borderlands, obviously, like what you want to like, but maybe this guy wasn't really the best to review of something like Borderlands if he doesn't like that kind of humor. I mean, if you were to ask me to review something like Fortnite Battle Royale, I'd give it a bad score because I don't like Battle Royale. Doesn't mean that it's a bad game, just means that I don't like it. It's simultaneously repulsive and compulsive, an FPS RPG that excels when its weapon generation system spits out guns that feel great to shoot, adorned with broken attributes capable of turning hordes of goons, bugs, and soldiers into clouds of red mist, elemental particles, explosions, and big damage numbers. Holy crap, that was a long sentence. I mean, look at that. That is the size of a flippin' paragraph here. <laughs> then it tells one of its many long bad jokes, and the cloud dissipates. I have horrific whiplash. Oh, poor you. This review is very dramatic. I, I gotta say that. With Borderlands 3, a few things have changed, but to little effect. It's still a Diablo-like masquerading as a shooter. Really? Come on. Now with new traversal moves, gorgeous gun models, and improved weapon feedback, but Gearbox has done little to build on the Borderlands formula. They don't need to, in my opinion. While chucking the pitch-perfect writing of Tales from the Borderlands in the bin. Okay. It's the best and worst of the series at once. Wait, 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 he goes, he's ripping on the game, ripping on the game, but then says it's the best and worst. I'm kind of confused here. Is this where the review actually transitions to a legitimate review where the, the hate baiting is done now? But Borderlands 3 opts for a best of approach, something like a sitcom clip show. 
The new space travel setup takes the player on a tour of the galaxy in search of yet more vaults. Each stop an excuse to roll out an old character only for them to disappear or fade away in the background as soon as they say hello. Shoot some folks and crack a few one-liners and side quests that do little to reveal anything about them or test them in any way. Most don't change or press on the main narrative in vital ways, functioning as conduits for strained laughs or the rare serious moments, but rarely both. Some even disappear for good with a little ceremony or reflection. It's as if I meant to come to Borderlands 3 with a pre-existing deep affection for them all. The new big bads, the Calypso twins, are murderous live streamers whose motives and histories only became become clear in the final act. Okay. Until then, they're just two cartoon villains who take up beat with the vault hunters, gunning to open the same vaults and collect the power within. There's not much more to them besides long, obnoxious monologues about how much I suck. Even as a parody of live streamers, they offer no cultural commentary. They do not need to offer cultural commentary. They should not offer cultural commentary. The last thing I need is some political statements in my game. I get enough of those on the news, on TV, on shows I watch, on YouTube. They're everywhere. Sometimes we just don't need them. They're just crappy, power-hungry people who will do anything to rule the universe. Okay, so obviously the Calypso Twins probably not going to be as good as Handsome Jack. And that's something that I think people maybe need to realize with Borderlands 3 is that this is gonna have to live up to Borderlands 2 in some capacity. And that's something that's gonna be really, really hard to do. So yeah, the Calypso Twins, honestly, I'm not too excited about them. I think they're fine. They work. Are they gonna be the next Handsome Jack? Probably not. But there are few genuine jokes, dramatic beats, or interesting character moments in Borderlands 3. I collect brown rock specimens, poop, for a guy obsessed with brown rock specimens, poop. I plant dynamite in a massive poop dam to save a farm. I help a guy open a burger joint while he yells about burgers a lot. <laughs> it's stupid. It's 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 just stupid comedy, but it is, in my opinion, funny. And this is kind of, I don't know. It's just, he clearly does not like it. That's fine, I guess. But I kind of wouldn't incorporate that into my review, or, you know what I mean? If you're going to review something, then I don't, I don't know. In my opinion, put yourself in the shoes of somebody that would like this game. Worst, I ran into a handful of scripting bugs where bits of dialogue repeated endlessly and quests became impossible to complete without restarting the game. So it's important to note that the reviewer copies of the game are not actually the complete updated version of the game. So the version that these guys have is not the complete version of Borderlands 3. This is not the version that we will be getting. So hopefully those scripting bugs and stuff will be fixed. Honestly, not a huge deal. Day one bugs, they're gonna happen. Eden 6 is your typical swampy jungle where fire-breathing dinos and club-wielding crap-tossing jabbers chase me around swamps and through the treetops. Sounds awesome. It's a shame because Tales of the Borderlands found a delicate balance of absurdity, self-awareness, and genuine heart. A better Borderlands is possible, it's just not Borderlands 3, and there we have that review. He has some valid points, I'll give him that, but I do think that this is completely kind of really hate-baity. But anyway, interesting review, 63 again by James Davenport. James is a PC gamer's bad boy, staying up late to cover Fortnite while cooking up radical ideas for the weekly live stream. He can still kick, flip, and swears a lot. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. He seems like somebody that might enjoy the toilet humor of Portalands 3. Okay, yeah, don't be sending the guy death threats and stuff like that. You can be critical of his journalism like I think I just was. People seem to be focusing solely on the humor or lack thereof. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Looks like PC Gamer has gone woke, so I'll be using DSO from now on. Don't know what that is. Is a review supposed to articulate the reviewer's subjective experience or to affirm your biases? Yes. Good, good comment there. Wow, look at that ad. How do I even... Like, okay, yeah, wonderful. This is why uh, <laughs> nobody reads these. Borderlands 3 review, third time's a chore. Okay, hopefully Mr. Ben Cucciera. Cucciera? Is that how you say that? <laughs> hopefully this is a better written review. I'm fine with it being a negative review. It just has to have, you know, some substance to it and something 
you know, they can back it up. Players who just want more Borderlands will likely be happy with Borderlands 3. Okay, already off to a much better start. The game certainly delivers more Borderlands, though not much else. Borderlands 3 is often a shadow of Borderlands 2, and more of the same is a disappointment for a franchise that used to feel so refreshing and rebellious. But the moral is here in this statement is that if you want more Borderlands, you're going to be happy with Borderlands 3. And I think that most Borderlands fans, myself included, just wanted to have more Borderlands. Movie on though Borderlands knows what it is but not what it wants. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, just some more filler stuff. The missions feel stretched out in silly ways as if to pad the game's length. That's hopefully, I really hope that, that is not something they have done. Because that does happen, in my opinion, in a lot of games where they just try to make a game longer, but instead of adding more fulfilling content, they just, you know, stretch things out, as this guy put it. The franchise used to feel adventurous, now, without any fresh ideas or concepts, it's little more than a holdover from a different time. Borderlands 3 feels safe, oddly careful, and worst of all, corporate. I guess what he's saying is that they went and just dished out an, another Borderlands to be safe and it was some corporate decision. I don't know. I mean, I, I think that they were just listening to the fans because fans wanted just more Borderlands. So anyway, guys, that was the second article here by Polygon. In my opinion, a better article than the one from PC Gamer. But what are your guys' thoughts on these reviews? I think that the first one here was definitely hate baity. The second one here, I think was a bit more critical and I think was maybe a bit more justified. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Like I said, most reviews Views, like uh, for example here, IGN, 9 out of 10. And of course, this is even if you can trust these gaming journalism websites. I certainly uh, do not at times. My opinion would be if you're looking for reviews on Borderlands 3, watch some YouTube videos. Watch some videos by people that enjoy Borderlands, that play Borderlands. You know, you can go and look at these articles. That's fine. That's great. Just take them with a grain of salt. Some of these people, I would question how big of Borderlands fans they are. I'm still incredibly excited for this game. I just want to have some more Borderlands. So hopefully that will finally be here soon. But thanks guys for watching today's video. Hope you guys did, of course, enjoy. And I will talk to you guys next time.